Okay, so this is a recently rebuilt uh, 1977 Yanmar 2GM uh, marine diesel. Uh, not to be confused with the 2GM 20, this is kind of the precursor uh, to it. The major difference from what I can tell is uh, that the 2GM has sleeves in the cylinders, which is really nice. Uh, basically, can keep uh, rebuilding the thing until just until your heart desires. So, uh, beautiful little engine. Uh, bought it from a guy who uh, pulled it out of his sailboat and reported that uh, there was excess oil pressure in the crankcase and it actually blew out the uh, camshaft seal a couple times and blew oil all over everything. Um, <clears throat> so we picked it up for a thousand bucks and uh, figured well did some troubleshooting and thought it's probably um, blown piston rings uh, just acting like a compressor basically and just pressuring up the crankcase so we bought it for a thousand bucks and pulled it apart and that's what we found that the rings were shot um, there was some scoring on the uh, sleeves as well and uh, actually one of the pistons was cracked as well that uh, we didn't know. It actually ran well. It 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 would take about 15 minutes before it would uh, pressure up. Um, so it actually ran pretty good, considering uh, how the internals were looking. Um, but anyways, so rebuilt it. Uh, two new pistons, uh, all new bearings. Um, honed the sleeves. Didn't bore it out. Uh, after a hone, the sleeves came out pretty nice. So uh, the pistons and rings sat in there nice. <clears throat> um, all new gaskets and uh, rebuilt water pump, uh, rebuilt alternator and starter as well. And uh, oh boy, what else? Um, of course, the whole fuel system was taken apart and all the crush washers and everything replaced there too. And uh, it seems to hold pressure nicely. So, um, yeah, so uh, what we're going to do is a cold start. Um, there's the little heater there it's saying it's nine degrees in here right now uh, I just turned the heater on just so you can see the temperature in here a uh, bit of a Jimmy rigged um, electronics here right now for the instrument panel uh, when I ran it up for the first couple hours I actually didn't have the instrument panel or anything hooked up I just uh, kicked it over with the uh, with a booster pack here to start it and of course these things don't need electricity to run so uh, I put it a couple hours on it that way, but I wanted to see how the instrument panel worked So I hooked it all up and it looks like garbage right now, uh, but the plan is basically to um, Once I put a couple hours on the engine then I'll reroute all the wiring and and clean it up really nice So it's good and clean um, Yeah, and uh, what else we've got um, a new instrument panel being made down at Burrard Metalworks um, so it'll be 8th inch stainless steel uh, and it'll fit the tack and uh, Hobbs meter in there and um, the pull kill uh, cable and lights and stuff uh, it'll be a bit smaller than that one just so it fits into our sun <clears throat> and uh, there's no exhaust manifold on it right now um, that's down at uh, Precision Valve and Crank. Uh, I'm getting another one fabricated. As you can see, there's a bit of pitting here. So when we got the engine, this had uh, rusted out and rusted out this uh, bolt hole here. And, and uh, it was in pretty rough shape. I've got some photos of that. Um, but uh, Precision Valve and Crank, they planed that down for us to try and get a nice flat surface. But the problem is that uh, there are two uh, different types of exhaust mixing elbow that you can get for these things. There's uh, the standard three bolt. So despite there being four bolt pattern in the head, uh, the standard exhaust manifold is a three bolt. So it uh, bolts into these three holes here and uh, which basically there's I don't think there's enough pressure on the gasket here and what happened is um, it uh, there's a bit of blow by and I think the previous owner had some trouble starting it at some point and he uh, backed some some salt water up into the engine 
and it eventually rusted and corroded this down. Um, the other option is the four bolt mixing elbow which basically comes uh, straight up like this and then straight down again. Uh, those are $800 new from Yanmar and that's the only place to get them. So I don't have the budget for an $800 exhaust manifold. So uh, what we're going to do is um, basically weld a, a four bolt flange onto the uh, three bolt um, mixing elbow and see if that works and I've got some four bolt uh, uh, exhaust uh, manifold gaskets as well so so that should seal up nice and solve that problem the reason that they had a three bolt pattern on the the standard elbow is just because it it bends so quickly after it comes out of the head that there's no room to get a bolt in there but I figured well we'll just space it out a little bit we've got lots of room here in our boat so we'll space it out a bit so we can get a fourth bolt in there and that should solve that problem uh, hopefully okay so we will do a run up um, there's the cooling water there into a pail so out of the pail back into the pail uh, can run for about 20 minutes uh, before the uh, water temperature light comes on um, so yeah, we'll see if it uh, starts here. So I'm going to put the camera down. So um, I need more than uh, one hand to do this. So, uh, okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, so I turned the battery off there uh, so the buzzer didn't go off when it when I shut it off, but yeah, you can see it works. Okay, so that's her. Um, runs great. Took a little bit to start there, maybe eight seconds of cranking, but uh, not bad. Uh, the fuel system here, I've just got it coming out of a jerry can there, and it's uh, I think it's got to suck pretty hard to get through that uh, primer bulb there at first. But I didn't give it a shot of primer or nothing before I started it. It's been sitting here for about a week um, in the cold. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Maybe we'll just pull the oil out here and just have a look. I've got about six hours, seven hours on it now, just idling. So, yeah. I don't know if you can see that. Oil looks pretty clean still, so... But I'll do a 10 hour oil change before we put it in the boat and uh, so we don't have the monkey around in there doing that. And then uh, hopefully we're good to go. But uh, yeah, so um, first time rebuilding a diesel engine and uh, I think it worked out really well. Okay, thanks a lot.